Okay, hello everyone. Give me one second. All right, much better so that I can actually hear myself. Um, welcome back to Of Ash and Dust. In today's episode, we're gonna, I think, be moving on to Anolando. Uh, in the last episode, at the end of the last episode, I kind of chickened out because, well, you know, this game. Or this mod, I should say, it doesn't pull any punches. And I was afraid if I went up to Anolando, I'm gonna get fucked up by something immediately before reaching a bonfire. And I didn't want to lose my souls, which I finally had. So we're gonna go up Anolando time, finally. Um, it's gonna be interesting what they do to this area. Even more interesting is going to be what they do to Ornstein and Smo, whether that boss fight is going to have any changes or not, but that's still quite far away. I mean, listen, that is a decent looking build, you gotta admit. Um, the Wanderer set looks so good with a lot of stuff. You get a little sexy hug from the demons, as always. It's weird seeing this like this because, you know, I don't normally play this game on PC. Souls games in general. Get to see this in full HD. Because, of course, um, the previous mod, the Binding of Isaac mod, didn't have any cutscenes. Because why would it? Alright. learning from previous kind of happenings I think it may be smart to keep the bow and arrow around I can still fast roll and it's just kind of useful isn't it so far seems unchanged Me getting fucking slammed by these guys seems unchanged as well. God, I need to get a Firekeeper soul. Cause... Fuck, I hate that attack. Cause damn, my essences are not healing. They're not healing as much as they should be. And that's pretty shitty. Nice Ornstein statue. Not as good as apparently that um, bull statue in Dark Souls 2's DLC. That's like the real shit. Primo Dark Souls art. If I could put that in my living room, I would. Fuck. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a stream thing. Which... <clears throat> oh, you're not dead. I stream... Usually every second day. Uh, hint, hint. But I think almost everybody watching this also watches my streams, so. No, never mind. What the? Terrible aim. And terrible... I don't know what. Hitboxes? I feel like that should have hit. Give me your tail. Come on, give me your... I'm gonna have your tail, bitch. Although... Hey, let's get another one. Because I think I already have the gargoyle tail axe. Of course, we get the helm as well, which is actually a decent looking piece of gear. People said that you apparently have higher thresholds. Oh shit, yeah you do. Interesting. Okay, bonfire is still the same. Mm. Kind of makes us look chubby, doesn't it? 
Oh, she's also in the Chester pose. Oh yeah, yeah, she is. But somehow I never put that together, because you know I said that Law Track was put in the Chester pose for this game, but it's not exactly the case. Nice, tricky. Anyways, I'll keep the helmet on. Because it looks decent. I am like truly wondering if there's going to be a twist here. In terms of like... Something with the progression or anything like that. Maybe just different enemies. One of the interesting things is that we actually already have the Dark Moon Seance Ring. So, oh shit, that has a huge hitbox. So yeah, we have the Dark Moon Seance Ring already. Uh, okay. I'm gonna pull a DSP and, I s and say that I was already... or I was trying to dodge that. Am I not using my weapon buff? Fuck. I'm terrible at using weapon buffs outside of uh, boss situations. I'm really like working on it for my Dark Souls 2 streamed playthrough. <coughs> not a stream plug at all. Kind of just using my buffs outside of uh, boss encounters as well. One day, I'll, one day I'll get there. Oh, this is the big one, right? Yeah, it is. You can tell by their outfit. And whether they're gonna vlog me or not. Luckily, the crotch tactic works, as in when you're inside their crotch. <laughs> I saw it, I saw it, don't worry. Oh fuck, seriously? This better not be a fucking mimic too. Oh, I just noticed I'm low on HP. Please just jump off. Just yump, as they say in Sweden. Oh, shuttle. Okay. Well, that's 100% useless. Not that the shuttle is like a bad weapon or anything like that, but... But currently it would not do me much, sir... What the fuck? Oh, okay. Seriously? Is that how we're gonna play it? Bruh. And of course. Oh. Annoying. Because that hit me through the wall. I completely forgot until I was doing it that these types of enemies are unrepostable. These larger body enemies. Which is a little bit unfortunate. To be honest with you. Because... If you know me... If you've ever watched the Mr. Sketchhead Dark Souls playthrough... Parrying against Silver Knights is kind of what I do. Uh, that's like my... My primo tactic against them. So 
So not being able to parry them will be a bit of an issue. At least we know what's what's awaiting us here. Oh shit. Thank you. Thank fuck this is not Dark Souls 2 healing. Sometimes it's sometimes it's a good thing. Because, man, let me tell you, again, <clears throat> I stream. If you watch me stream, you should know that I get caught quite often with the slow heals in the current Dark Souls 2 playthrough. Just force a habit, you know. Is it force a habit? I guess it is. Cause no. No. Just just no. This is not and there's two of them. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh no. Thank you. There goes one. Oh. This is evil. Luckily I know about the kind of kind of shortcut there. And thank fuck fog gates give you full invincibility here. Man, that was a dick move game. Dick move game designers. Dick move. And I'm, now I'm just wondering what the hell is gonna happen at the actual part where the archers are supposed to be. There's gonna be like fucking five of them shooting at you. And one of them is gonna have like a minigun or some shit. Let's see if the bonfire still exists. It don't. Okay. That is not a good thing. I get the sun's firstborn. I think that's the uh, same thing, right? That's normally here. <laughs> no bonfire either. That's what I wanted to check, honestly. The Gwendolyn stuff we can handle later, once I figure out where everything should be. If that made any sense. Pain and roll stuff as well because I haven't. Oh my god! I'm yawning again. I'm yawning in like every one of these. It's because I always end up recording when I'm when it's like I'm late. Today's Sunday, by the way. And just kind of had a sort of lazy Sunday, you know. I have a bad feeling about this. Stayed up mad late again yesterday. Playing Wolfenstein. I'm like really in the Wolfenstein hype train nowadays. Such a good game. Okay, you're gonna glitch out. Don't.
These guys are not easy. Like big ass shield. And wrath of the gods. I'm gonna fry their ass though. And still didn't. Holy shit, did you see how little damage he took from that? By the way, I'm just coming in here to check the the chandelier item. God, that has like no range on it. The chandelier item is what I'm here for. Thank you. Who says the Partisan R2 doesn't have any uses? Slumbering Dragon Crest. That's a silence ring, right? Because I was gonna say it would be funny if they put the fall damage one <laughs> here. I think I'm gonna have to go back. Back upstairs. Oh shit. Do I have homeward bones? Ah, oh, this is where I ran out of homeward bones, right? I said I would go buy some. But I kinda ended up forgetting it. It's all good though. No worries. I will go upstairs and... Yeah, because with two Estes I'm not making it anywhere. Glad you guys are enjoying this playthrough, by the way. Um, we are discussing it. Quite a lot of positive feedback. And, you know, the feedback on my side as well is positive. Like, I am really enjoying this mod. I am enjoying this way, way more than uh, Daughters of Ash. I'm gonna be honest with you, Daughters of Ash grabbed me for, like, the first... I don't know, 10 videos maybe? Uh, it, was, it was fun. It was fun. I was like, hey, everything is new. You know, new bosses, new progression. But then, after a while, I'm like... My feeling was it felt a little bit, you know, contrived. Like the dude creating it wanted to redo Souls. In his vision, you know. But I think there's nothing wrong with the vision for this game. Sure, you know, some things are shitty. Later game areas especially. But the rest of it was created that way for a reason. And I feel like this mod gets it way better by... Um, leaving the kind of base of everything intact. If that makes any sense. That was a lucky stun. That's what you call a lucky stun. Apparently these guys just take... Oh shit. Okay. What I was trying to s do here is itch my ears, because my ear is itchy. And I bl fucking blasted the headphones off of my face. Oh well, it happens. I'm kind of dreading this area, I'm not gonna lie. Because I have some images of what fresh like terror could be waiting for me on those rafters so yeah again that's kind of my view on this mod I, I'm really liking it I'm really liking it um, I 
What episode is this? I don't even know. Oh. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a waste of time. Hey. It's it's all good, I think. I think if you've been watching this playthrough, seeing how many times I've died, you know why I'm taking this safe. Oh god, this is gonna suck. Because my, again, my go-to solution against these enemies is... Oh, fuck the tracking. Do you see that? My go-to solution against these enemies is parrying. And that's not gonna be a thing here. Did they increase the frequency of them using that attack? Because that attack, from what I know, is pretty rare. So far so good though, I don't mind the current changes up to this point so far. Come on combustion! Oh, still not dead. Let me see if I have any other healing item. Fuck it. People always complain that I never use Divine Blessings. Well, I just use one right there. God, this enemy is annoying. And there goes my Divine Blessing. Oh, hey, a giant shield. And this fire orb fucking has terrible range. Just pyromancy in general. It's terrible range. But this fire orb in particular does mad damage though. There you go. For some reason they cannot actually fly. I think it was just like a programming thing. A pain in the ass to program them to fly as well. What the? Oh yeah, that sucks, doesn't it? Hey, what happens with that and like no hit runs? Or like no damage runs? I guess the two are separate things. All right. So one there. It's like raining absolute hellfire down on us. He's at the top of the stairs. Oh wait! No, no it's not. I thought this was actually more lenient for a second. But it's not. It actually might be. It actually might be because... Okay, I'm gonna get like blasted from the side. Well, at least it was a murder-suicide. Shit, that I shouldn't have said it. How many times have I learned this lesson? Just do not say how I'm going to die because... Garen fucking teed, that's exactly how I will die. I wonder if it's possible to make the run here. The run back. It would sure be, surely be good if I could. Good if I could. Yeah, it's possible. I 
But then having to deal with all these assholes. What the fuck was that? See, it wasn't going too badly either. Okay. Because they have trouble hitting you. What if there's like... I nearly walked off. <sighs> Such an idiot. Okay, you can put one here. I'm okay with that. And the R2 of the Partisan does so much damage. How much do you want to bet that the bonfire, they move the bonfire? Of course they did. Of course they did. God damn it. That's not good. I'm telling you right now. I was really worried the AI was fucked again. Did you see that Silver Knight straight up like didn't attack me? I don't think you can backstab these guys either. Yup. Man, it would be good if you spawned a bonfire. It ain't gonna happen, but... Wishful thinking, you know? Because I kind of have a feeling that... Things are gonna end badly here. I gotta admit, though... Um, Currently, I do actually prefer this game's enemy placement for an Orlando. This is actually pretty sick. It's well done. The enemy placement. It's making the area a little bit more interesting than just Silver Knights. Big dude Silver Knights. I mean, it's still the same combo, but... Oh, thank fuck for that. I was gonna say I'm hoping it's in here. Mr. Solaire. You're gonna assist, don't worry. Who doesn't have feelings for Solaire? That's the real question. Ain't no soul in the world who doesn't have a either a regular crush or a bro crush on Slayer. Yeah, a hundred percent kindling this. Let's see. I'm assuming that the shortcut or the skip still works, but I think I'm gonna go through this normally just to just to see what's up. There's a mimic. I did it. This were, these were like all mimics. Oh shit. <laughs> Seriously? Artorias is said is not in the base game, right? 
No, no, it is, right? Fuck, I don't even remember. That's cool. I might just consider this piece of gear. The armor especially, I think, looks cool for Artorias. Crackling Storm. There's a spell like that in Dark Souls 2 as well. Oh shit. That's good. That is muy muy bueno. That there's higher limits in this game. God, that looks so cool. We gotta do some um, fashion. What the fuck is that? That looks decent. I think that is classified as decent looking armor. If I can have the leggings too, yeah. Yeah, I can. Nice. So can't be backstabbed either. Oh shit, there's a lot. What the hell? There's a tiny one. <laughs> okay. Like it's the little brother. It's like that Final Fantasy summon, you know. Final Fantasy VIII. The two Minotaurs. can't believe whoa okay chill chill I can't believe he, he the silver knight had a mini me and this mini me is about to like fuck me up if I'm not careful what the shit was that You, on the other hand, are fully backstabbable. Backstabbable. Blah, blah, blah. Janky. What a bitch. Into the ground you go. The leggings don't. I, I know this is the official leggings, but... I think we have some better options. Hmm. I saw something that I was like, that's definitely gonna match. Maybe Wanderer? Uh. Sometimes you just gotta fashion, you know. What was that miracle? That miracle? Holy weapon. Oh shit. I was gonna say that this guy is gonna fuck me up. Just that type of placement. Now this better be worth it. Hmm, I would say yes. How am I doing on time? I think. Oh, when did I start? I think I'm getting close to where I should be wrapping up. Enemies are like scuttling around all over the place.
I'm gonna kill this guy and then... Bad moves. There were a couple of bad moves there. On my part. Fuck! Oh. <laughs> Alright. Alright game. I'll give it up. I'll give it up. I didn't expect that. GG's. GG's. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping up the episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of, of Ash and Dust. If you did, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Turn on post notifications as always. Salaire. That was bullshit. You know it was bullshit too. I can tell by your eyes. Take care and peace out. Goodbye.